here. I brought something for you. I've heard tell that this one's a real fighter. Look at the size of it. I've never even seen this fish close up. Thanks, Eivor. I will see you later, friend. Come visit again soon. Hello there. What do you have today? Interested? There will be contracts when the mood strikes you. I have to go. See you soon. Goodbye for now. Grandmother, something fell from the sky to earth, like it had been thrown by Odin himself. A strength he no doubt wishes he possessed. No danger remains. But look, it revealed something hidden in the mountainside. Hmm. Looks almost like a door. If it is, then it's the door to something that I have long been searching for. May I ask you for a kindness, Dringer? My name is Abel of the Raven Clan. That depends on how kind you need me to be. Will you grant me a home while I investigate the door, Eivor of the Raven Clan? I don't make a habit of sheltering strangers. My name is Hildurand. There. Now we are no longer strangers. Please. If I am right, then this is Freya's gate. Allow me to stay, and I will help you discover the treasures that lay on the other side. Very well. I will give you a small piece of land to make a home on, and supplies for my race to build with. Thank you, kind Eivor. The gods smile on you. I may be kind, but I am no fool. Everyone must pull their weight, and I expect no less from you. A fair rule, and one I can easily follow. Come to visit. Like what you see. You have certainly made this space your own. But how does this help you open the stone door? It is a shrine to Freya. We will need her favor if we wish to reveal the hidden treasures. 
Oh, it's we know, is it? I told you, Eivor. You will want to see what is on the other side. Now come. Freya demands combat before she will aid us. For a moment I thought you meant for me to fight you. Fear not. I can handle myself. I cannot possibly fight you. I would kill you. You could try. Attack me. Now get up, and let's give Lady Freya a fight. Fight harder, Eivor. Yes, give me everything you have. You're leaving yourself open to attack. You're leaving yourself open to attack. Of a Basarka. I can teach you, Eivor. But first, we fight! These are not my weapons. Are you already making excuses, Drinker? Strange things. Nothing like this. What magic do you possess? I have not seen a seer fight like that. I am no seer. I am what you see before you. An old warrior with a knowledge of secrets. If that was not magic, then what was it? That was a battle meditation. You entered Hooverheim, the mind's realm. It is a secret form of training that not many know. You can attack full force with no fear of injury. And yet, you know this training. Your are going to stay now, aren't you? Very much. Tell me, what part does the amulet play? It is a vessel. It needs to be filled with the energy created. But it will only work with this type of shrine. They can be found all over Mercia. I have many questions still. I promise you will get answers. But first, I have marked a shrine location on your map. Once there, enter a meditation. The amulet will pull you into Hoogerheim. What happens when I've finished my training? Then, you return to me. Very well. Have you met Volker? Something of you reminds me of her. Go now, kind Eivor, and train!
The Wolfka! So glad to see you. See the Alliance map. <laughs> what of Oxenefordshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire, Sigurd will be pleased to see you. I did. Put them right over there. Keep them out of your way when you aren't using them. That is actually a very good idea. See the alarm. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia. Yes, years but the king I said you. Those Dane invaders, yeah, years but I said you. I have changed my mind. I should go. What have you got for me today? Nothing more today. Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. Take my leave. So long. Take care.
Always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I am asking a simple question. Look, Dane, you start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. Feeling Carter. Here's your silver. Thank you kindly. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window and ran for the river. I'd wager they hid in one of the fish houses there. Take us for another day. Yeah, they will stay here on the local stuff. Sigurd and Basim headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. You to bloody gibbets, Wolfkist. Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridal mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Giedrich has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elder man, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with the promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. 
If Edwin can win his full support, this Shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Edwin. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrifying. Gods. All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the longhouse. With you here, we can mount a surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom, but he follows my lead. Always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature. And he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. What's wrong with you? Brother, our bond has the iron heft of war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex, begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex, and that poxy ass bastard Alfred. We won't have it. Lady, there's no need for slaughter. We all want peace for Xenophutshire. Can we find some agreement? You heathenish fork-tongued day. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. What kind of mess did you get yourself into? Gidrich, this is Eivor, my stone-armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Eivor, not hope. 
No time to squabble. Edward's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Gidrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, I. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk Where is she? Fane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leech Vila garrison. Basim, Eivor, to horse! to execute the prisoners. Oh! 
Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to paint Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He is safe in Buckingham. Good Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know the holy woman Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this sight for Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. Fulke. <coughs> you see, brother, your mysterious Fulke has a mind in disarray. Mad or no, I want to speak with her. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poison, knowledge, and an enemy of the church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself, and for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Giedrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead, but we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Lindvorda, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We think will raise a fear and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich. Tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed.